this incident happened on board LNG motor ship that is the, the ship which operates with the help of diesel engines so first I'll describe the system and then what happened on board LNG ships we have a pump called as water spray pump and this pump takes suction from the sea chest and then the discharge goes to the deck and this line this is the engine room boundary here and uh, from here it's deck let's assume this and this goes to the deck for various nozzles and also to the cargo manifold on the manifold and all over the trunk deck of LNG ship during loading and discharging operations the water spray pump is continuously kept running during cargo operations loading and unloading so that the deck is always flushed with seawater so that in case if some LNG or the liquefied natural gas spills from the pipeline it gets washed away if not the liquefied natural gas which is at minus 161 degrees Celsius when in contact with the steel hull it will cause brittle fracture to avoid this as a safety measure the pump is kept running so that the seawater is flushed all over the deck so this is the system description now on the operation part after this loading or discharging operation and uh, when the before stopping this water spray pump it's a usual practice to flush this line with fresh water and this pump is usually provided with a fresh water suction line okay alright I'll just indicate with single line fresh water suction line and uh, change over valves so that the fresh water can be flushed after using just to avoid salt water choking the nozzles and as you all know the engine room system is such that the hydrofo pump takes suction from the fresh water tank and puts it in the air charged hydrofo just to supply fresh water to uh, engine room services deck services and accommodation spaces so what happened the actual scenario goes like this so um, chief officer called up engine room and announced that the cargo operations are complete and uh, we can uh, he informed us like just to line up the spray pump for flushing the line with fresh water and uh, the this is the vessel's first loading operation right from the yard so the data given by the yard people were 30 meter cube of water will be consumed for flushing the complete line with fresh water in 20 minutes time so uh, we had this data and we kept an engineer standby on the fresh water tank and an engineer on the water spray pump and chief officer on deck chief mate ensured that water was coming out of all the nozzles and once it is flush for around let's say one or two minutes he will ask us to stop the pump through walkie talkie we all had radio communication and when this was happening suddenly the engineer who was standby on the freshwater tank said that he couldn't see the level in the freshwater tank he called me and he asked me to stop the pump now I stopped the pump immediately and I informed the chief met that we have some problem and asked him to be standby then I went up to the freshwater tank and then checked the level obviously I didn't I couldn't see any uh, level in the side glass then I checked the gauge and the gauge was showing little bit less than zero 
the capacity of the tank is 250 meter cube and when the ship was arriving the loading port it was almost full and let's say if we have consumed some water it should be at least some 200 meter cube but the tank shows zero and the hydrofoil pump was continuously running with no water in the hydrofoil suddenly there was a phone call from the bridge accommodation everywhere saying that there was no water and to, to my surprise fourth engineer received alarms that the heavy fuel oil purifier, lube oil purifier, everything shut down as there was no water, operating water or sealing water so uh, everything went for a toss now. I called up the second engineer and asked the chief engineer to be standby in the engine room just to attend the phone call you know so uh, second engineer rushed to the spot and we verified opening the bottommost line on the side glass. The side glass usually has a nut or a drain arrangement so that you can open and collect some sample or something like that. So we opened that. To our surprise, air was being sucked in. Then we tried to purge out this pump and the hydrofoil. Air is being sucked in. We were shocked. How does this can happen? So there was a vent on the freshwater tank. I rushed to the vent of course with second engineer and there was a sounding pipe when I went near the vent air was rushing inside it was continuously going in with a huge noise and when I tried to open the sounding cap I couldn't open because of huge vacuum then after 10 to 15 minutes of investigation we found that the spray pump which has been running for let's say 20 minutes has been taking suction from this tank has created sufficient vacuum inside the tank and the relieving capability of this vent is less which means the size of this vent was not sufficient to allow air to compensate for the water outlet being sucked by the spray pump that's the thing we found out and we managed to open the vent head and then air was rushing in and finally after 10 to 15 minutes everything sold out the pressure gauge or the, sorry the water level gauge showed suddenly a reading the water level of the tank was coming up we purged out the hydrofoil pump we pressurized the hydrofoil tank and then water went to accommodation so we raised a guarantee claim uh, sorry guarantee claim and then pushed a message to the yard so stating that the air vent is of less capacity or and they have to replace the vent size I mean the vent size is not sufficient to uh, accommodate the spray pump suction then the yard people came out with a solution and uh, that they fixed a new air vent on both freshwater tank port and starboard side and then we tried out the spray pump the problem was solved so this it can be treated as an engineering near miss and if we would have not taken any action on this the freshwater tank would have imploded implosion is opposite of explosion so implosion is crumbling in or buckling in so that's the lesson learnt